bringing you today some noodles. They're kimchi noodles. I showed you the little video of it, picture of it in the beginning and the intro. And also I'm having some mussels, but not my Kevin mussels, just mussels today some scallops, some shrimp. I, in my kimchi noodles, I put some shrimp, some yellow string beans, and some green string beans, and some baby bok choy. And did I say shrimp? Yes, shrimp. Kim's favorite, shrimp, okay? And I got my lemon garlic butter sauce. Sure do, mm -hmm. gotta have that. Then without further ado, Let's bless this food and get started. Okay. Father in heaven, I pray that you bless this food, that it may nourish my body and not bring any harm to me. In your name I pray. Amen. Yes, Lord. Okay. So, how is everyone today? You guys don't know. I'm like, I'm sitting up here. I have my iPad going in front of me. I'm watching the Chomp Queen. Hey, Chompers, if you're here. <laughs> hey, Chomp Queen, I'm watching you dip your shrimp in your butter sauce. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now, kimchi is kind of spicy. But I got my water on the deck. Hopefully it helps me. Mm. It really is really good though. Guys, I try it. Spicy though. But if you like spice, it's the noodle for you. I got them at the um Asian Seafood Market. I love noodles. Mm. Mm. String beans are good and tender. I don't like them overcooked, you know? Do you? Everything's still so hot. It's <laughs> smoking. What? Huh? Damn my lips. Hmm. Mm. My 
bok choy is cooked perfect. Bok choy. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't give you guys a bite. Hmm, let me see if I can grab it. Yeah. These chopsticks can be a little disrespectful. Take a bite. You can get it. Oh. <laughs> oh well. At least I didn't lose my bok choy. Mm. Hope you guys enjoyed that bite. Mm. You have shrimp in that. The way I cooked them, they kind of soaked up the broth. Shrimp. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, so good. Oh, bit my fucking lip again. Damn it. Oh, how do I keep doing that? These noodles are so good, guys. You just don't know. Mm. So good. And with the shrimp, kind of calms down the spice, I think. That's just me, though. But I'm not a spice person, so I guess my spice level counts. Beans. That. Ah, can you see? I even have some carrots in here, guys. So good. Oh, wow. mm, I see some more bok choy. I love bok choy. Bok choy. Mm. Really good, guys. I'm growing up. Mm -mm -mm. Pretty soon I'm only going to have shrimp in the box. Mm. One of those yellow beans. Do something else. I'm gonna do a scallop. <coughs> Ooh, me. That 
was for all you burp lovers out there. Mm -hmm. There you go. That butter sauce there. Mmm. 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 I call that lemon butter sauce. Mmm. Mmm. I'm no one. Before I get messy with the muscles. Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 Raising the roof. Lord. Mm. I hate to put anything else in my mouth. It might mess up my flavor. Shrimp. Bok choy. And they're just to you guys about something but let me chat on with some muscles first all right oh yeah I'm trying to get it all. <laughs> I want it all. I want it all. And I want it all. Mm. My butter sauce has a lot of lemon in it. One day I'll get my little recipe out. <laughs> so everybody knows how much lemon I put in my, or how much garlic I put in, or how much butter. And then I have something else in there. These are much bigger than the first ones I ever had. 
much bigger, much more flavorful. I'm gonna taste the meat. <laughs> That's a fat daddy right here. You know, fat daddy. Gallop. <laughs> oh man, that's a big one. Let me see if I can get it. That one's been hanging around for a while. Look, it still has some has something on the back. you guys about what's up with kids these days we really got to do better in raising our children we really need to start back go back to the old school not all the old school ways but teaching them respect 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 your elders Respect your elders. I don't know what's up. Kids just have no respect for their elders or anybody who's has any authority. No respect. What? Why is that? Why is that? I don't understand. People always tell me, oh, your kids are so respectful. They're such great kids. You know, because we raise them to respect their elders. However, sometimes, you know, they don't want to do the same for their parents. Right, like teenagers. You know that. Everybody knows how that goes. Every parent knows how that goes. But... I can tell you one thing. My kids will never disrespect anyone of authority or anyone that's an elder. They will get up out of their chair if they see an older person standing and they're sitting. They'll get up, up out of their chair. You're not going to talk back to an elder. I mean, of, of course, you know, unless they're totally being disrespectful and racist and, you know, the stuff that, you know, nobody should take. None of the abuse somebody should take. But, you know, aside, aside from that, very respectful. Very respectful kids. And, but I have ran into some kids, let me tell you. Lord. Mm 
Mm. No respect. Mm, what the hell? This is so sweet. I'm almost done with them. There's like 15 of them on my plate. Mm. No respect. Please teach us. We got to do better with raising our kids. All you younger kids, well, I won't say kids, but all you younger people out there who are raising kids, please teach them some respect. Kids are getting too out of line because they figure, oh, you can't touch me. Whoop they butt. Don't beat them. Don't beat them, please. Don't beat them. But I'm no, I'm not so sick. Huh? Don't beat them, but they want to try to raise their hand at you or. You know, be disrespectful to you. These kids these days don't have no fear in nobody or nothing. And it's going to be the downfall of this country. They being that way, their kids going to be that way, going to be worse. And it's just going to keep being like a downward spiral. It's going to keep getting worse, worse, and worse. That scallop is so good. <laughs> mm. 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 You just don't know. Yes. I'm gonna eat my last scallop, then I'm gonna finish off my nerves. Mm -hmm. I remember my kids were young, were, mm. so my older son was in first grade. And I used to always, I walked him to school and walked to go pick him up. And, and I remember going to pick him up from school and we're walking there's some railroad tracks close by our house and these kids are playing on the railroad tracks and I'm like okay a train's coming and I'm like get off the railroad tracks you're gonna get killed you know what they told me he yelled I mean well they, he was far away far away from me Lucky for him, couldn't snatch his ass up. He gonna tell me, "Shut up, bitch." Sorry, you guys, if there's any kids watching this, but yeah, he said, "Shut up, B." <laughs> oh my God, this is our future. This is what's become of our future. This is what we're we're bringing up. I mean, this was about 15 years ago, so. I don't know where that kid is. Maybe he's in jail. Maybe he's a executive. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully it was just, you know, one of those things. He just slipped a tongue. <laughs> I doubt it, but I don't know. Mm. 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 I didn't give you guys a bite of that. I'm sorry. That was the last one too. So sweet, juicy, and tender. Mm 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 mm. Mm. Mm mm mm.
got a few noodles left. But please guys, let's let's do better with our children, with raising our children. You know, come on, I'm not saying we gotta beat the beat beat some sense into them, but we gotta teach them somehow. You know. My thing is the best example is by example. That's the best teacher is to be an example to your children. You know. Don't be cussing your mother out in front of your kids and expect them to not want to cuss you out. Think that that, you know, don't expect them to not think that that's okay, okay? <laughs> Cuz it's going to happen. They see what you do and they do. But on the other hand, you may never, ever, ever cuss your mother out or your father out. But they will see it in their, they'll see their friends doing it. Oh, my battery's dying. They will see their friends doing it and they will do it. And think they can get away with it. They, they can, because they see their friends doing it to their, their parents. Then they'll come home and be like, want to fix their face, fix their mouth to come at you. You better nip that in the bud. Real quick. That's what I'm saying. But, you know, I think that all of us, are, my, I think my generation is trying to reverse a lot of the generation before us. You know, the kids, when you know, when they first came out with that, oh, you can't spank your kids, can't do anything, you know. But I think our, my generation is, start, is starting to reverse that. And I'm hoping that the generation after mine is going to reverse it completely. Let's get back to basics, people. Let's raise our children to be good people, to be law-abiding people, to be good citizens. And to just, just be able to make this world a better place. We got to do it. We got to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. Okay, my battery is blinking. So I'm probably going to die soon. So I'm just going to eat in the meantime. So, oh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell ping, for a notification for my next video okay i love you guys Mwah. i don't know when is the when this battery's gonna die but it's gonna die soon i'm just gonna finish eating my noodles Katie's crawling on the floor, people. <laughs> she was crawling on the floor. Shrimp. Ooh, that's more bok choy. Thank you.